So we were talking earlier about uh, about new laboratory testing available. That lab will be open here in the very near future. Yes. Um, we were talking about predictive antibodies and, and how a person could have the development of autoimmune antibodies years and years before a disease actually develops or turns into a, a symptomatic type of problem. Can you talk a little bit about that Arbuckle study? Yes, I can. Thank you. It's just so fabulous. When this study came out in 2003, it rocked the world of immunology. Um, it's called a landmark study because it, it kind of shifted or expanded the way that we think. And Arbuckle is a researcher that went to the uh, VA, uh, the Veterans Administration Hospital, and looked to see about patients with lupus, looked for patients with lupus. And I think it was about 130, 140 patients that she found uh, in the system, uh, in the area where she was. And she got permission to go back. Now, if they're in the veterans' hospital, they're veterans. If they're veterans, they were in the armed forces. If they were in the armed forces, they had their blood drawn lots of times over the years while they were soldiers or sailors or airmen or airwomen. And so they had their blood drawn, and the government's been saving the blood since 1978, and they've got tens of millions of samples of our, our armed forces personnel. So Arbuckle asked permission to go back and look at the earlier blood draws on these people that had lupus. And she got permission to do that. And what she found, and she'll, let's say that an airman, um, there was an outbreak of a strep, a strep infection um, on the base. And so many people went in and got their blood drawn looking for strep. Uh, and the, the docs would check and say, no, you, you don't have strep, go back to work. Well. Arbuckle got that blood that was saved and frozen, and they looked for streptococcus infection. They didn't look for lupus. Why would they? This is a healthy airman in the, in the Air Force or a healthy seaman. Why would they look for antibodies to lupus? It wouldn't make any sense. But she went back and looked for antibodies to lupus, and she found consistently, and I, I don't know if I can say all, but I think it was all. I don't remember. I read the study about four years ago. I think it was all of these lupus patients, the antibodies were identifiable nine years before they ever had a symptom. And she looked at their blood draws over the years, and she found that every year, each of these seven antibodies, there are seven antibodies to lupus, each of these seven antibodies increased sequentially every year. Some of them started off very low, some of them started up pretty high, but they all increased most every year, up and up and up and up, until they hit a threshold. And that's when their symptoms began. That's when the antibodies that caused so much damage, there were now symptoms. And it took about six months to a year before they got a diagnosis. And the, and the antibodies plateaued at that level with the diagnosis. So she she graphed it out and when you look at the graph you see that oh my gosh look at this there's a sequential order of increase to these antibodies and um, she said that in her study she said that um, first you have normal immunity and then you have benign autoimmunity meaning you've got a few of these antibodies well it's really not benign but she just made up the term at the time then you have pathogenic autoimmunity where it's causing some pathology a problem, and then you have a clinical illness. Um, so she tried to categorize it in a way back in 2003, and it got us to see that there's a sequential order of increase to these antibodies before you ever get a diagnosis of the autoimmune disease. So now Cyrex Labs is coming out with predictive antibody panels. And these predictive antibody panels are going to be able to identify these antibodies years beforehand. They're going to look at 24 antibodies in each panel. For example, the, there's a panel on brain, on central and, and peripheral nervous system. There's a panel on cardiac. There's a panel on um, uh, connective tissue diseases. There's a panel on arthritis that goes on and on and on and on. Uh, they have 17 different panels, so you'll be able to identify these panels years and years before there are any symptoms. We call those predictive antibodies because since Arbuckle's article, 
um, occurred uh, back in 2003, other immunologists have now looked at this, and they've been able to um, look at many different autoimmune diseases. For example, we now know that if you have any antibodies to lupus, any, not elevated antibodies, but any antibodies at all, the positive predictive value that you're going to get lupus in your life is 94 to 100% within 7 to 10 years. If you have any antibodies,